Asset transactions are an important part of working with data. Let's look at a typical use case of a balance transfer. This diagram shows how a balance transfer process might work from user through UI and backend to Couchbase. Notice the deduct and credit steps here are parallel in sequence. This means they must both happen, or neither, indicated by the validation failure section of the diagram. The balance check should also be part of the transaction so that a raise condition doesn't sneak in and we can avoid negative balance. Let's look at how this is done in Couchbase. Now I've got two separate documents with account balances, Matt and Emma. And here's a code sample in C-sharp, but transactions are available for most of the languages that Couchbase SDK support. First, connect to the cluster. Second, create a transactions object. A Couchbase is distributed, so you can define how durable you want the transaction to be, a trading off with latency. Third, I'm hard coding a transfer between two accounts, Matt and Emma, of $100. Fourth, run the transaction. In C-sharp, this happens in a Lambda, so that it can be retried automatically if necessary. Within the transaction, I'm looking up the two balances, printing them out, and performing the transfer. That's two separate replace operations. And I'm checking to make sure the sender has enough balance. Now this should be done before the replace statements, but I wanted to demonstrate that the transaction is all or nothing and those mutations will be rolled back. I'll run this program and you can see the balance was transferred. If I run the program again, this time it will fail, but the two accounts will remain in a consistent state, even though the two mutations took place before the exception was thrown. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.